There are things in life I don't like, like mayonnaise on burgers or pineapple on pizza. But there's only one thing that I truly cannot stand. You gotta sell something. I don't know what you gotta sell, but you gotta sell something. This is what's happening tonight. It's the masterclass on how to go from zero to a seven figure revenue business. When people say, oh, it's this get rich quick, you better hope that it is. The get rich quick schemes. That's actually how this channel started with a series called Fake Gurus Dedicated to exposing all the grifters out there who got wealthy by selling people on how to get wealthy, that sort of thing. And there was a point at which, believe it or not, we were winning the war. The message was getting out there. Hey, don't buy a get rich quick scheme. But if I'm being honest, we've been away for a while talking about crypto, right? And I've been slowly but surely hearing whispers on the wind uh, that the grifters and fake gurus, they're back. And this time, They've teamed up. Like a gang of hyenas, they've realized there's safety in numbers. And to be honest, I don't know if I can stop them. I'm talking, of course, about Jordan Belfort and Brian Rose's alliance and course. That's right, the piss drinker of Wall Street and actual Wall Street fraudster. Together, they have joined forces. And individually, sure, I could probably take them. But together, I'm not so sure. I'm worried that their powers of persuasion might be too much even for me. Coffeezilla, the internet detective. So I want to warn you guys ahead of time, hold on to your wallets. They may try to take them from you in this video. And we're going to investigate the return of the fake gurus. Here at London Real Studios, I will be hosting a two-day crypto, DeFi, NFT, and metaverse mastermind with the wolf of Wall Street himself, Jordan Belfort. <laughs> Jordan is an industry titan who's become a household name for his ability to build multi-million dollar companies and work with the who's who of business and the blockchain. No, wait, 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 wait. Pause it real quick. Okay, a lot to unpack here. I feeling pretty unpersuaded, to be honest with you. Um, first thing I gotta say, I love how they describe Jordan Belfort as being famous for building multi-million dollar businesses. I mean, that's one way to frame it, I guess. I mean, here I was, I thought Jordan Belfort was famous for scamming people, going to jail, and then having Leonardo DiCaprio play him in a movie. But, you know, who am I kidding? I'm not hosting the crypto mastermind, The Wolf in the Rose. That's what they call this, by the way. The other thing I want to talk about real quick um, <laughs> is the price for this two-day event, this mastermind. I mean, how much would you pay to get the two titans of this industry teaching you? A hundred bucks, maybe $200 for two days? Wrong answer. The price of going to this event is $24,000. Ladies and gentlemen, that's almost the price of a Bitcoin, just so you can hear the two biggest grifters on earth try to sell you on buying Bitcoin. I mean, they really do pitch themselves in this as sort of the experts in the field of cryptocurrency. With gourmet catering throughout each day and a strictly limited number of places available, this is a unique opportunity to be personally tutored by two of the most recognizable former Wall Street traders who are now at the forefront of the crypto industry. I mean, once again, I don't mean to quibble here, but most recognizable how? This is a more shameless duo than if Elizabeth Holmes and Trevor Milton started a how to start a business masterclass. I mean, you're right, you'd be technically recognizable, all right. And can we just talk for a second about Jordan Belfort? I mean, what happened to that guy? I thought he was like teaching how to sell a pin or something. Instead, he's selling investment advice again, and you'd think he would have learned his lesson. I mean, he ruined his life as a scammer, got federally indicted, went to prison, and then he came out. He probably thought his life was over only to have his career resurrected by none other than Leonardo DiCaprio. You'd think at that point you've made it, right? You've, you've been the guy who got struck by lightning and survived. You'd think you'd hang it up. You'd ride it out being the guy who got the second chance and made the best of it. But instead, Jordan Belfort is selling shameless crypto masterminds, and this isn't even his first one. The New York Times actually reported on a previous one he did charging $40,000 a pop, which I guess the lowered price is because of uh, Brian Rose being a part of it, which makes sense. And look, I'm not saying this is illegal, right? They know that it's not illegal to sell overpriced courses. It's just a pretty scummy, disgusting thing to do because they know they don't know how to make you rich with crypto. They don't know whether the price is going to go up, down, left, right, or sideways, which is why instead of actually investing themselves and making money that way, they sell you on how to do it and 
tell you that they're, you're going to make money. I mean, just to give you an idea of the absolute lack of credibility of these guys, let's actually talk about some of the crypto calls they've made in the past. Brian Rose, for example, on May 5th, posted a live stream about Terra Luna saying why you need to know about it, how it had all this value locked in it. That was two days before it crashed to zero and Brian deleted this tweet. He also posted on May 3rd about Crypto.com's best kept secret and why you need to know about Kronos the day after they slashed their rewards and their price started to fall and plummet. And look, Jordan Belfort is a little bit better, but only slightly. Like in 2017, he said Bitcoin was bad, but then in near March 2021, near the all-time high of Bitcoin, Jordan Belfort all of a sudden jumps on the bandwagon and says he's a bull. Says it's going to 100K. I think what happens first before anything long term is I think it goes higher technically, probably to 100,000 or more. But what happens over the long term, I still think is an open question. I'm, I'm a bull, certainly for the short term, and I love blockchain technology overall. What? Now, of course, Bitcoin did not go to $100,000 in the short term and instead is trading at $27,000, which is half of the price you would have bought it at had you bought when Jordan Belfort suddenly jumped on the Bitcoin bandwagon. And these are the guys, mind you, who are supposed to teach you the secrets of wealth in crypto. The only real secret being that there's anyone still left buying these guys' ridiculous courses. Because Jordan Belfort is an actual former criminal who got indicted for defrauding people. And Brian Rose is a well-known grifter who dances on a new topic every day. One day it's the digital freedom platform. Then he's running for mayor. Now he's doing this DeFi grift which he will, of course, abandon as soon as it's inconvenient. So if you're buying this, understand that you're not learning about the opportunity. You are the opportunity.